Hello everyone. So, we've gone through the entire process of how we're going to think like a machine and break things down step by step. So now let's go into actual coding of programs. Now, we're going to be using a Python language, and Python has its own nice little thing called uh, Py, or, uh, I'm sorry, called Idle, which I can just bring in here and Here's what idle looks like. It's, you know, this thing. Or it's, just, it's just line coding. And when I go up to the top, there'll be an option that says run, and I can run the module. And then I'll be able to, you know, play the game. And right now what I have here is a hangman game. And let me just hit A. Maybe there's an A here. Nope, there was... Oh, there was a couple of A's. There were a bunch of A's. So A, enter guess. Oh, I know what it is because I made it anaconda. Yep, anaconda. Yeah, because I made it all snakes. And of course, you see, I have the letters that I've been picking are going away. And if I pick, you know, I'm going to pick a B now, because I know it's not in the word anaconda. Oh, look, another part of my guy got, you know, made. Now let's put an E in there. And you see, it just essentially, it's playing a game of Hangman. Now, I don't necessarily, yeah, I'm going to kill it. It's fine. Kill it. So, and of course, you'll be making stuff that looks like this, but that's... That's far, far in advance. I'm just showing you where you can go, and that's actually not even week 13. That's going to be week 14. I decided tic-tac-toe was easier. So, I don't necessarily expect idle to be downloaded on all your computers, which is why we're doing jdoodle.com. jdoodle allows me, it's a cloud-based service, so it's free. Just, you know, log into your Google account. And, you know, you can put it on your Google Drive. Now, there's Python 2 and Python 3. We're going to be using Python 3. It's newer coding. It's, you know, more simple stuff. So, we'll just simply click this. Python 3, it'll say, hey, welcome to JDoodle. And then it'll even have this sample code right here. Like, it'll say X is 10, Y is 25, Z is X plus Y. So, Z is 10 plus 25. And then it'll print... The sum of x and y is blank. So if I were to hit execute on this, the sum of x and y is 35. It did, it, it did its little math thing right there. That's all the lines of code that it has starting out for you. It's sample code. Now, of course, if you want to, you can always save your projects. and Save it, and you'd have to log in to use this function, but you can save it. If you really, really don't want to sign into your Google account or anything like that, you can simply copy and paste this into a Word document. So open up Microsoft Word, and where's my Microsoft Word? You are, you are right there, Microsoft Word. So you can just copy and paste it. So I'll just copy, open up Microsoft Word. If you really want to, you can just send me a Word document with your code. I can just copy and paste it back in, because it's really easy. So. I can just do copy, paste, there it is, there's my code right there in a Word document now. And same thing, if I delete this, and then I go back to my Word document, I can simply go copy, paste, and now it's back in. Easy, same thing, execute it again, and look, it still says the same thing at the very bottom, there was absolutely no loss of information between these two processes. So, and I'm not going to save that. But, so yeah, I would recommend using a Google account anyway, so that way you can go on any computer and access all your projects right here. So, but first things first, that's, you know, this is how project works, it's how you'll be submitting stuff. Now let's actually talk about Python, and I'm going to go with that in the uh, next video of this lecture.